Hey, um, we're back. Uh, in the last part, we finished the painting the chassis in the truck for the uh, Buffalo and Pittsburgh GP50. Or as I called in the last video, the General Lee GP50. You get the idea. But in this video, we are going to do the masking and the painting of yellow on the pilot and the side sills and the pilot steps. Now, where did I put it? Ah. Head under the bubble wrap. What I am going to be using is a tape called Frog Tape. This is a tape you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Basically, it claims it has paint lock technology. Now, we're, just, we're going to put that to the test here. So, what we're going to do, we're not going to have to mask the whole thing, so we're just going to do it in bits and pieces here. Basically, we just need to protect the areas where the yellow is going to separate from the orange. So, always try to be as straight and level as you can be when you when masking I got a Facebook message oh me stay You want to stay as straight as possible for mainly to make it look good. It's not straight and level. What's the point? Oops. I'm sure that the dullness, the brightness of the orange will dull when we put some dull coat on it. Hmm, what is this? As I said, when I had to, when I was showing how to mask the windows on the Dash 9, I do not like masking. To me, it's the most time consuming part of painting but you know it's a necessary evil What's that? Another Facebook notification. Another. There we go. <coughs> All masked. Now this tank here, that's gonna that's gonna have to be painted black, I hate to say. But we're gonna do that after we apply the yellow. Shape 
yellow up. First, we gotta make sure this paintbrush here is clean. Okay. If it is not clean, then the yellow will be painted black. Just like when you were using the yellow highlighter in high school and was highlighting black ink and it turned the and it permanently ruined the highlighter. You know how it is. That's basically what would happen here. All right. You can tell it's been a while since this file's been opened. So of course I'll put that in there. All right. Let's just see how well this paint lock technology from Fog Tape really is. Oh, wow. Looks like it's doing a pretty decent job. I'm surprised how smooth and this is actually going on. I mean, it's not streaking or anything like that to where a lot of orange is showing through. It's coming out really smooth. Hardly any orange is coming through, which is good. So we're not going to have to do much touch up once this initial coat of yellow is dry. I guess mainly because it's a light color going on a light color. Again, if this video hits the 25 minute mark, I'm going to go ahead and split it into a third part. Yeah, I mean, this is, this paint came, went on good. I mean, yeah, there's a tiny bits of areas that will have to be gone over again, but overall, not too bad. As I said, painting the st the step wells can be a hassle. Do 
do do do. Where that came from, I have no idea. Coming out pretty good, if you ask me. We are at I mean, what do you guys think of that, huh? Can't really. S there you go. Little orange is peeking through, but you know that gives a character. Gives a little, I don't know, light weathering. I mean, I'm gonna be spraying it lightly with some dust and grime, so that will actually help work in its work in our favor. What's this here? You'll be reminded to update and restart in one day. Okay. Remind me later. I'll do that here when I'm done with done with this video. We're at the fifteen minute mark. We're about a oh, third of the way done here. I'm sure we can get all the yellow paint on in twenty five minutes, don't you think?
Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see how it is. At least get a coat of it on. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just going to do the first coat of yellow because you can see it somewhat of how it's bleeding through. So I'm going to have to redo that. I won't put you through watching me paint the whole second coat on. I am going to need a new paintbrush for sure. This one's getting gunked up all the time now. Might go over 25 minutes, you never know. I hate doing 
ones to stuff for us. Yeah, there's gonna have to be a second coat. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm not gonna let you wash because it's gonna need a second coat. That is gonna that is gonna be it for tonight. I didn't get it all done like I wanted to, but you know, we got a majority of the way done. We got the general lead, or yeah, the general lead done for now. We got the, some of the yellow put on. It's going to have to need another coat of yellow. And I might do with do that with a spray uh, in the morning. It is currently, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. And I started this project about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But then again, I've also been uploading the videos, taking care of the fish back there, and all that good stuff. And I guess that's about all the paint that's coming out of that lid. I'm gonna need, good thing I have pliers so I can pry this open. But for now, that's going to be it. I mean... Got the space clay all painted up. Just needs a new, another, uh, smart, Jim. You just got yellow on the blue. Oh, good. You can see where the yellow is, but you can also see where, or somewhat see where the primer's still showing. So that's going to have to be resprayed uh, with another blue. Then we can finish that up. We got both chassis and all four truck frames painted for both models. Uh, so basically tomorrow I just gotta finish up with that, do some touch up on the chassis with that because I sort of rushed through it, get the yellow finished, and tomorrow after I get all that done, we can finally start with the decals and finish up with the dull coating. And then we'll, well before we do the dull coating and after we do the decals, somewhere between those, we're gonna be painting the handrails. And I will show you how I do that with spray paint and a brush at the same time. So, that, if you like this video, if you want to see more, if you want to see more engines that, that I want to paint or watch, watch me paint, comments are down there. Sh or shoot me a message or you can look me up on Facebook. Look me up under Jim Tyrock. You got, that is spelled T-I-R-O-C-H. You guys have a good night. And we'll see you next time.